Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. Uh, in this tutorial, um, we'll learn how powerful are the Earth Engine um, API is compared to other standard um, geospatial or GIS and remote sensing software like ArcGIS or QGIS or um, GDAL or whatnot, um, a standard desktop GIS software tools. Um, so what is Earth Engine? So a Google Earth Engine is a powerful cloud-based um, API application programming interface um, that enables you to access a large volume of planetary scale, you know, geospatial and uh, satellite data. It also, it will um, enable you to analyze your data on the cloud without even downloading the data. Um, so this is happening behind the scene by um, uh, the, uh, the fact that Google provides tens of thousands of computes, um, computing infrastructure for free. Uh, and um, you can only do that if you're doing this for research or educational purpose. And there's a commercial version of uh, the Google Earth Engine uh, platform. But if you're using this for teaching or you know, educational purpose or research or um, whatnot, you can access this, the Google Earth Engine um, um, cloud-based platform free of charge. It's publicly available software. Uh, and why is this so powerful uh, compared to other traditional GIS and remote sensing software such as Envy, Airdus, ArcGIS, or Q QGIS? Let's get started. So the first thing is that the Earth Engine platform provides massive uh, geospatial data um, at uh, you know a single spot, right? So, for example, if you want to uh, download Landsat data, you have to go to you know USGS and Landsat site and then download. If you want to download Sentinel data, you have to go to the Sentinel site and then download, and whatnot. So, but the Earth Engine platform, you know, provides this massive you know petabytes of data in a single spot, archived, free of charge, and and the power of that is is that you can access this data without like downloading it to your local machine, computer, uh, Windows or Mac. Um, you can, you can uh, access, you know, explore, visualize, or even do some powerful analysis on the cloud. And this is one of the advantages of the Earth Engine API, which is massive data archive, all right? All right, number two, um, you know, for example, if you're, ha you know, doing some GIS analysis using a standard uh, QGIS or ArcGIS or Envy for remote sensing um, uh, or performing some, some remote sensing analysis, uh, for example, AirDAS or Envy, um, you know, you, um, you need to uh, download the data and just run that analysis locally using your um, local machine and um, the analysis is limited by your local, the performance of your local machine, uh, so to speak, r r you know, RAM. The, the, for example, if you're running that analysis on your laptop, it depends on the, you know, the, the capacity of your uh, RAM, your machine's RAM, and then CPU, right? Um, mostly, um, you know, you know, desktop environment are not set up to do large scale or planetary scale analysis. So you can run a pretty small um, uh, image and then run some analysis. But if you want to do like uh, a national or global scale, for example, if you want to run some analysis based on a global um, uh, coverage of a Landsat data, you cannot um, you cannot do that in your in your local machine. So the Earth Engine platform provides you a cloud infrastructure uh, such that you can do powerful global scale analysis um, in, in, a, in a very short amount of time. And thanks to Google, um, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a game changer, right? So in the old days, you know, we used to perform some sort of remote sensing analysis at the scene based for a small local area, and we have to f wait for 
you know, in some situations, days, right? A few days. But now with Google Earth Engine, you can run um, a planetary scale analysis in, uh, in in a few minutes, which is which is really really powerful, and it's a game changer to the remote sensing community, the geospatial community. All right, the third thing is that um, you know, um, for example, if you're running some analysis on your local machine, it's really hard to do some parallel processing and scale your analysis. But using the Earth Engine platform, you can do um, um, you can do um, you know your analysis in parallel. In other words, you can you can run you can perform some um, continental scale analysis and run it in parallel uh, on Google's um, um, cloud infrastructure, right? Uh, Another thing is another powerful thing that Earth Engine uh, enables you is that uh, which which uh, which is lacking in in um, in desktop environment or standard um, um, geospatial softwares is that you can run time series analysis using um, a long time series of um, you know data archive, be it Landsat or Modis. Um, you know, 10 year, 15 year, 20 years of data and run that time series analysis in a, in a few minutes, which is, uh, which is um, you know, unprecedented. Um, and what else? The other thing is that um, apart from other standard softwares like QGIS or MV, you know, the Earth Engine platform provides a code editor where you can run your uh, code. Um, this is an example of um, the Earth Engine code editor where you can write, uh, for example, let's write a uh, hello world and then print that and then execute that. I'll just print. All right, so this is a simple JavaScript. Um, I'm kind of testing the, the JavaScript uh, code editor API. Um, and so our, our hello world is printed here. So this is, so what Earth Engine provides is that not only have, you know, access to large volume of data um, and also um, uh, a cloud infrastructure, it will also provide you a code editor where you can, um, uh, literally write your JavaScript or Python code and access data, analyze data programmatically without, you know, downloading, the, you know, the data manually, right? So this is, this is powerful. Um, and then in addition, you also have, um, you know, uh, built-in Earth Engine functions already, um, you know, uh, available to you um, to, run some analysis, right? For example, here, this is an example of the um, uh, Earth Engine built-in algorithms. For example, here is the Landsat algorithms. Uh, for example, um, a simple composite here, right? This is a, an example of a cloud, um, a cloud removal algorithm, just a pretty simple uh, cloud removal algorithm, Earth Engine Landsat simple composite. You can pull this uh, uh, built-in algorithm and just run your analysis without even writing your own function, right? If you want to. Uh, another powerful aspect of um, you know the Earth Engine um, you know API is that um, you can it's open access, right? So you um, you know it's available for researchers, you know scientists and developers for free, right? And the other thing is. You can share your code. For example, if I click here, get link here in the Earth Engine Code Editor, you can share your code uh, to other researchers, you know, uh, team uh, members or coworkers, um, um, other scientists that are working with you. That way, you can you know share knowledge and uh, collaborate efficiently, um, and th th that's the power of Earth Engine. Um, and um, the other thing is that um, uh, you can, you know, you can um, 
do some sort of um, large scale um, uh, land surface monitoring, be it you know land surface temperature, uh, land is land cover, um, and um, precipitation anomaly over a long term. Uh, so this is suited for environmental monitoring and environmental change um, and quantifying and understanding change on the Earth's surface using big Earth observation data. And you can, you can do that um, by using the power of uh, Earth Engine Cloud API. So, uh, so these are one of the most important um, um, you know, use cases that why Earth Engine uh, is uh, uh, powerful compared to other traditional uh, geospatial um, softwares such as ArcGIS, QGIS, or INVI or Airdas. So, uh, and you can you can use um, if you don't have Earth Engine account, you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. Um, as far as you're using it for you know research or scientific analysis or uh, non-profit, uh, you can get uh, access to A, to the platform, the Earth Engine API, B, you can access all of the, the, the uh, petabytes of data, and also access the Google's, um, in, you know, computing infrastructure to run your analysis on the cloud uh, at a scale.